Oh my God, please help me knee deep in the river trying to get clean He says wash your hands, get out the scenes But you best believe, boy, there's hell to pay Yeah, you best believe, boy, there's hell to pay Saying take a minute and just say that uh, my parents heated with wood when I was a kid and uh, I've heated my home for the last six years solely with wood and before that we had an open fireplace that we would use on occasion at night during the winter probably every other day or so um, so I do have quite a bit of experience cutting and, and splitting wood and using hydraulic log splitters but uh, if you want to wait till the end of the video, that is when I give my review of the Super Split. Otherwise, the video is just of me splitting um, a load of firewood so you can see how long it does take. And this is all red oak that I'm splitting here.
So this is the largest polar trailer and that holds about a half a truckload of wood. Not a long box, but a standard box. That's about what I found that that's equivalent to. So it took me about 23 minutes to split that. So I have to say I like the splitter. Uh, it's definitely fast. I still haven't, uh, you know, got my technique down on how to use it. I'm used to using my, my hydraulic splitter, but uh, I'm sure I'll get a little bit faster at it, but already it's, I would say it's a little over twice as fast, if not about well, three times as fast um, as the hydraulic splitter I used to use, which was a 25 ton uh, Speedco type. Um, but anyway, it doesn't retract every time and I might have to adjust something. I'm not quite sure. I'll have to look at that. The springs is what makes it go back. But it powers through most everything I've come across. And this is all oak. But this, this doesn't always want to go back. And it rides on that little bearing, so you got to keep that rail clean. And I've split, this is my fourth load. And I don't know if you can see this. It doesn't look like you can. It's used about a quarter tank of gas and that's one gallon. So a quarter gallon for four loads, which is about an hour and a half of splitting. It's kind of funky how the trailer hitches. It just mounts on this bottom leg. Uh, it's easy to uh, a lot easier than a hydraulic splitter to pick up manually and move around the woods to adjust it and this table is very very big you know, that's an 18 inch piece of wood So I would say all in all, it's, it's better than a, a hydraulic splitter. It's faster, most definitely. It's a little, it's a little more dangerous, I would say, but uh, you just gotta watch what you're doing and don't get complacent. But yeah, this should speed up the process for sure. And that was a fairly new fallen tree. You can see the dead leaves on it. trailer so I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this biggest um, chunk and this engine just pops off so easy I don't think I'm gonna have a trouble starting it in the winter like my hydraulic splitter you, you had to bring it inside and warm it up before you could start it get it in the, the shop and heat it up because that thing would not start um, below 30 degrees now this is an obviously good test, but boy is it easy. So the next day we ended up splitting four more uh, loads of wood and I checked the tank level and we only used a third of a tank of gas. So a third a gallon of gas. And I just measured how much wood we did split this weekend. It was just under two cord. And it took me 
about under three hours. So I was skeptical about these uh, kinetic log splitters, but it's pretty awesome. It uh, is very fast. It goes through wood um, better than I expected. Um, wood that has limbs coming off of it and stuff, stuff that's hard to split, you know. Um, does a hydraulic splitter go through it better? Yes, but through the stuff that, um, the easy splitting stuff, it's so much faster that it's worth it. Uh, you might have to hit it a couple times to get through those hard spots, but in the end, it's just as fast as a hydraulic splitter through the tough stuff, I would say. So I really do like the machine. Um, I'll probably do a review after maybe a couple years or so using it and see how it wears. But um, as of right now, I'm very happy with the purchase. A couple things I didn't like is it took about a month to get the machine um, after I ordered it. It did not come with an instruction manual to put it together, which consisted of the production table and the, the framework for the tires and the hitch. And uh, you also have to put the engine on, um, which the engine wasn't that difficult. Um, the whole process wasn't that difficult. They did send me an email with a video, but a third of the video, the person putting the machine together was off camera. So it wasn't that much of a help. But I did get through it um, in the end. Uh, but I would expect more, at least an instruction manual. So this is what I split today. That's three loads. And then that's four. <clears throat> and like I say, that took about an hour and a half. It took about tw 20 minutes. Um, for each load, but I, I was walking back and forth to get the logs as you've seen, so um, a lot of that was me walking and not splitting. But uh, the one thing I don't like about that splitter is how short the actual wedge is. I think it, they should be made larger because uh, a lot of the wood doesn't split all the way, clean through. Um, when you have a real large piece, it like, uh, it just makes Swiss cheese out of it and you gotta turn it around until the whole thing breaks. But <clears throat> I mean, I could probably, I can pop that wedge off and, and weld a new one on or have somebody weld it on. So there is a fix, but I'm not sure why it's that short. I don't know if you saw that in the video or not, but, um, and I might make a uh, four-way splitter for that too. So, but anyway, I like it so far. So this is two days later and we've cut four more loads of wood. And my wife was nice enough to stack all of it today. And I roughly measured it up and it's just under two cord.